Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video to explain what is happening actually right now with the uh, WannaCry ransomware attack that is happening around the world. Um, I mean, it's uh, something major. It's something very, very interesting when you look at it and how it's actually spreading and everything. And um, this video is here to also remove some of the fears that people have concerning this attack because I've seen so many things. I've seen people share on Facebook, hey, be careful, you can catch this uh, by clicking a link and so on. And, um, you, you know, uh, a lot of um, also a lot of, a, um, of news bulletins were saying, oh, you know what, these all, all, all the computers that are just there and people do nothing, uh, get infected, so you got nothing to do, it just infects your machine. Uh, look, there's a lot of false information in there, and you gotta understand how it actually works. So I'll try to explain it as easily as possible, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to understand also that most of us are not at risk for this at all. So this is an attack that, of course, bad guys somewhere, we don't know where really, um, one of the things we do know is that whoever started this, um, you know, it attacks every country in the world where more than 100 countries are, you know, attacked with this ransomware. And, um, you know, it is spreading. There's, of course, one thing that happened. One um, security researcher also found a kill switch, which basically helped in uh, lower the number of ransomware infections over the weekend but you know it's it's it, it could be just temporary so how does this start and how did it happen okay first of all let's start about the basics of this thing it all starts with the national security agency in the united states okay they're now they're not directly involved in the attack they're not the ones doing the attack what's happening is that they had tools that you were using to hack into computers and these tools were of course using security holes in windows we're using something that makes your computer at risk of getting something on a malware virus anything because it has a flaw and so Part of the responsibility can be given to the NSA because they had, you know, they knew about the security hole in Windows and in many other computers, by the way. And they didn't say anything because they wanted to exploit that flaw to spy on us. And that's a, a, a good demonstration right now of how doing that puts all us puts us all at risk because if they find security flaws and don't say anything, that means that bad guys might find the security flaws and use it. Now, in this case, what makes these bad guys use the security flaw discovered by the NSA is because the shadow brokers actually issued all the information necessary and um, some bad guys sold the tools the NSA had to exploit this flaw. So that's where the beginning of everything is. So of course bad guys bought that and decided we can make money with that. So they issued, of course, the the the, the attack. And of course, one of the first things that you need to know is that if your computer's up to date, if you applied all the Windows patches every month you are not at risk of this at all. And the reason why is that Microsoft actually patched the hole in Windows that they are using right now with that malware in March. Now think about it. The March Patch Tuesday issued the fix. If you have that installed, that malware cannot infect your machine at all. That means pretty much all of us and pretty much everybody watching this that follow my rules and update their machines all the time 
you got nothing to be scared of. It cannot attack you. But that also means that around the world, hundreds if not thousands of companies did not have the updates on their servers and on their computers. So that is sad because the first thing that you have to think about is, look, it is spreading because companies, once again, are often careless about the security and have not patched their computers. So no patching of computers, well, they got hit. And remember, once again, this is something that was patched in March. So they had two months before it started, which I'm sorry, but I think is more than enough to have, you know, tested the patches and applied them. It's kind of a very careless situation also when you think about the fact that a company doesn't apply the patches for security. Very sad when you think about that. So if you are updated and companies that have computers that are updated are not affected at all by this. That also shows that a lot of companies don't apply patches. A lot of companies are behind in their security. Sad state of affair here when you think about it. The way it starts, because the news bulletins all said, oh, well, you know, just the computers on the Internet and that's it. You get, you know, you got bitten by that malware is not true. Here's the thing. It all started by a very, very widespread phishing attempt through email. So basically, uh, many, many companies received, oh, uh, by the way, we're going to move this money here from that bank account to that bank account. And the details are in a link or in a, um, you know, attachment. And all the companies where people and employees clicked that started spreading, of course, the malware. So you're a company that didn't patch your windows. You got an employee that clicked on something in an email. And if your company is big enough to have a lot of computers in a local area network. Well, what happens is that that person that clicked, of course, that computer got infected and it can infect all the other computers within your local area network. So it would be the same if, for example, you were in a home network, like for example, here, I've got several computers on my home network. If I didn't patch any of my computers, and I would click that phishing scam, that phishing link, or um, that, you know, attachment. It would affect my main machine. And because other computers that I have are on the local area network, well, all of them would, of course, have been infected. And But, of course, once again, i got to mention, that's all if you didn't apply the patch in March. So you understand here that this is not getting into everybody's computers. It's getting into everybody's computers that didn't get patched, that don't have updates. So that's very interesting. It's not spreading through the internet directly. It's not, oh, a computer on the internet is infecting my computer here at home. It's always the same. And the company where you are for the infection, they receive an email clicked a link because they thought maybe, you know, it was something to check for, uh, you know, a bank, false bank page, stuff like that. That's all. That's how it starts everywhere. And it spreads everywhere within a company because of that. And this ransomware is asking for $300 in Bitcoin per machine. And we have reports that some companies have actually paid. And that, of course, brings another interesting thing here. Why the hell did you have a backup of all your files? You paid bad guys? That means they're going to do it again over and over because, oh, we're going to get millions. And they, that means that they didn't have a backup of their stuff. So it's a very complex issue here. You understand that those companies that got mitten didn't have their updates 
in the Windows operating system and that those companies that paid didn't have even backups of the stuff that was encrypted. Really, 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 really sad when you think about it. You know when I always say, don't rely on companies for security because they're not secure? Well, that's a great example. So it spreads through the local area network. It cannot infect your machine directly over the internet. It doesn't work like that. It's always the same thing. Every company that has bitten, an employee has clicked or somebody has clicked because it could be, you know, in there, there probably are home users um, that are infected with this because their security updates are not done. And they've received, you know, one of these phishing uh, emails. And of course, it's easy to get emails of all the different companies because everybody, every company has emails to actually, you know, interact with clients and other companies. So it's easy to just send, you know, millions and millions and millions of emails to have somebody click somewhere. And, you know, in a very big company, well, if they've received, you know, a few hundred of these emails at different levels in the company, well, there's a possibility that someone in the company somewhere is actually, uh, you know, seeing this and saying, oh my God, I'm going to click here. There's some problem with a bank account. There's some problem with the way that we actually do what we are doing. So, um, you know, the tr there's a, a problem with bank transfers, etc. So that means that somebody somewhere has, you know, clicked and of course spread through the local area network within the company. One of the major issues we have here, and we had Microsoft do a very, a very, very unusual move this weekend, is that we also saw that a lot of companies have Windows XP still running on some machines. And of course, Windows XP has not been supported for the past three years. That means that Windows XP basically has many security flaws. And that one was one of the security flaws. And of course, pretty much every company that got infected that still have Windows XP machines, all the Windows XP machines are now infected with that malware that encrypts files. So that's the, um, the, a problem, a very, very fundamental problem that actually all companies have is that a lot of them keep old technology around that are unfortunately unpatched. And one of the things that, you know, I, I, I did see a few articles about this weekend was about how how this shouldn't happen, how companies should not be using old operating systems to, um, you know, in their business because it's just too dangerous. Also, there was a, an interesting article about how companies and people that still use Windows XP are just putting everybody else at risk of problems because you're using something that's not patched anymore. You know, there's still that thing that, well, oh, I've got an old computer and if I get infected, it's my problem. You know, the problem is that you're also putting everybody else at risk with that. You know, stop thinking that's just you. It's everyone. So Microsoft, you know, in a very unusual move, issued a patch to fix the Windows XP uh, problem so that at least with that ransomware, it cannot infect Windows XP machines if you apply it now. So, you know, sad state of affair. Um, don't believe everything you see. Like I said, you're not at risk if you patch your machine. If you have the Windows update, you know what? No danger for you. Stop thinking that, oh my God, you know, I'm going to be careful. Apparently, I can get this on Facebook or, uh, you know, I, I could be attacked on, on the internet. No, because if you patch your machine, you're not at risk. And the risk here is that it's very simple. If everybody would have patched Windows, we won't even we wouldn't even be talking about this right now. So you know, <clears throat> part of the blame NSA hack and the fact that governments you know use flaws that they don't tell anybody about. And if the NSA or any government use a flaw, well, you can bet that bad guys eventually will see also that flaw. You know, it's 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 something that. It's, it's stupid to think that 
you know, the NSA will have a flaw and only them will know about it. If they know about it, it means some bad guys somewhere or some hacker somewhere will say, hey, I just discovered a flaw. So, um, you know, that's one part of the problem. Um, the other one is, you know, the carelessness of security. And Microsoft actually issued a, um, a message, uh, a, 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 a little, um, you know, post this weekend saying only computers that are not updated are attacked. Everybody else is okay. So that's really the real truth behind all of this. That it just shows how many how many computers out there are not patched. Now I hope sincerely that this will raise the awareness of a lot of IT departments and companies and that it might also, you know, um, make companies actually understand the why and the how all of this is happening and maybe help them keep up security a little more. Stop using old operating systems like Windows XP, you know, or at least if you're using it for a specific reason, have it taken offline, have it isolated so that it cannot be infected with something or infect anything else. But that's the story of what's happening. And, um, you know, the only people to blame here are mostly, partly the NSA, but mostly companies that just didn't at all update their Windows operating system. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions regarding this, please uh, let us know. And um, hope that this was clear enough for everybody to understand the reason why all of this is happening right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.